Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in iCraft. <laughs> you may notice something... Oh, right, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> you show it in the background. Yeah, anyway, you may notice something slightly different about our place here. I've been doing a lot of work um, on, this, on this building here in particular, but the main thing I've done is that tower there. So we've got we've got windows and a trim and another trim and a roof and a flag. Flags are all important. Everybody knows that. And we've also got a visitor inside. <laughs> so you'll see where this guy came from in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll see where where Lisa here came from in a little bit. Um, I I did a, a group recording session. We were welcoming Virus X back to the server. He's been a, he's been gone for a little bit and. I'm very glad to see him back. Um, so we were doing a world tour thing. So that will come up in just a bit on this channel. Uh, but that's where that's where the fox came from, <laughs> in case you're wondering. So yeah, I, I'm thinking of doing the the rest of the towers in this in a similar situation or a, a similar style as that. Uh, so we've got basically uh, you, you can see it, I don't need to explain it. But I'm doing another one over here in this corner. And I always planned to do one there and there. I actually didn't plan to put one there, but I thought it would look good. And it also provides options for secret passageways, because I do want to include some of those in the space. That would be very cool. Uh, hold on. This is, a, this is a double tower here. This is the big tower. It'll be the highest on the building, I think. And then over here is a smaller tower adjoined to the side of it, which should look pretty cool once I finish them but I ran out of uh, mainly kelp, which brings me on to another option, or sorry, another talking point. <laughs> uh, you may notice something else different about our base. We never, uh, we never used to have this river here. <laughs> I've decided to flood the ravine. Um, it did not look very good, and I had to do something with it. So one option would have been to... Uh, uh, well, clean it up on the outside, maybe maybe make a feature of it, and I think we will still make a feature of it, but I don't have to do quite as much work here, and another thing that we also need, that we need, uh, the kelp, can be found in the bottom of this ravine. <laughs> so I've, I've gone ahead and filled up the entire bottom of the ravine with sand and also kelp, and that's going to be really nice because once the... Uh, well, it's already been really nice for one reason, and it'll be nice again for a, a second reason. But the first is that all I had to do to, to flood the thing was put buckets around the edge, then I put the, the kelp on the bottom, and the kelp will grow and uh, create new source blocks all throughout the ravine, so I do, I do not have to do so much work. And that's nice. So then the other thing is once, once the stuff's all grown, I can uh, just swim through it and chop down bucketfuls of the stuff left, right, and center, as opposed to our current farm over here, which is a little bit underwhelming, I've found. It does not produce the bucket loads of kelp that we so desire. Uh, and actually, we do we do need an awful lot to build that thing. Okay, so two other things. <laughs> I've been I've been rather hard at work. Two other things nope, three, that we've uh, that we've done so far. Over here uh, this is, uh, if you remember, our super smelter. It's been very helpful to me, um, but I've made it a bit more helpful just recently. Uh, I'll put in a video of it working in just a second, but I've upgraded it, so we have over twice the number of uh, furnaces. <laughs> Hold on. Way more than twice the number of furnaces. Yeah, all in a big line, a big loop around, and what that means is that it produces smelted items, it'll smelt the items at twice the speed of a, hop a hopper can deliver them. So we've got two hoppers going into the back delivering them all. So that's pretty speedy, if you ask me. <laughs> and uh, should definitely, definitely hold us over for our uh, kelp smelting needs. So then, one more thing. <laughs> almost, almost, to the, almost done with the list of uh, achievements, inter-episode achievements. Wait a second. Ah, that was an Enderman. Pure and simple. I think they took two blocks. <laughs> so rude. Anyway, um, we've got we've got this thing. So currently, I know it doesn't look very good, but 
eventually it will look good because we're going to put supports down, turn it into a sort of a base feature. We'll have railroad tracks going around through the air and it'll be rather nice because I'm going to set up a sort of way choosing, a uh, um, destination choosing interface. I've actually got the redstone for that planned out in the in the main dining hall of our uh, of our place here. <laughs> yeah, so that's the uh, that's the idea with that a sort of storage player movement, which should hopefully not take too many tracks, uh, relatively speaking. So over here, I just realized I need a, a minecart for the demonstration. So over over there is a demonstration of the redstone system. So you select the you select the place with this little uh, item frame, and let's say you want to go off the first uh, the first junction. So that would uh, that would be one straight down. So let's pop a minecart down on the track, and you can see it goes off on the first junction. Now let's say you want to go off on the second junction. You set that to two, and now we go straight past the first and onto the second, and go off the second, and that continues for all the uh, all the sets. I think I have four set up. So let's uh, let's go to track number four. Pass the first one, pass the second one, and oh, actually I only have three, <laughs> and we we go off on the third. Oops, that's uh, not what I wanted to do. Yeah. I think I should, yeah, should be able to place that. So this is what this is uh, what it what it'll look like. I think I'll have these sort of connectors on the on the places where the junctions are. One of these two designs, depending on the the trickiness of the junction. Some of the ju junctions are trickier to wire, to, trickier to wire because uh, the 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 tracks don't connect the right way. You know how minecart tracks are directional; they're not very not very helpful sometimes. So. One of them, this one, <laughs> is a little bit harder to hide, but we can put a design around the other one, however we please. The way it works, you have you have the comparator it reads the signal off this uh, off this thing. So if you have a signal strength of one uh, for the first for the first junction, it will uh, it will stop here since the comparator preserves signal strength. It'll stop here won't reach this thing, won't turn off the torch, and won't divert the uh, the track. If you have two, then a signal strength of one will be subtracted by this double piece. It will reach the torch and uh, switch the track and move on. It won't switch the second track because it um, because it doesn't reach here. It's been it's had one subtracted, uh, and so it does not switch the second track. So you go off on the second. Uh, if you have a third, then one is subtracted, two is subtracted, um, both those intersections are swapped, and the third is not swapped, so you go off the third, and it it continues working in that way. Ooh, snap! We're already we're already ten minutes into the episode, and I haven't even started yet. Uh, haven't even finished with the the intro. I have to get moving. Okay, so this is the last thing I'm going to show you. It's the uh, the tree farm that I'm planning on doing. So we need wood for stuff. And I don't want to waste all my bone meal. Don't make me. Dumb trees. Ah. Okay. I don't know why this is why this is giving them trouble. Um, it should definitely be high enough for them. But okay, I'm going to remove this just so I don't waste all my bone meal for the demonstration. Oh wait, I already have. Dang it. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> One of them grew! I was just about to give up and, and use cobble for the demonstration. Okay, so, actually I do need to use cobble for the demonstration because I need more than one tree. Or it will go all the way over there. Okay, okay just a second. So, let's suppose we have trees growing here. Just suppose. I know it seems unlikely, but it is actually possible. So, there you go, trees. Um, and when we harvest this thing, Whoa, another one grew. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Apparently they did not like those blocks. So, this is our old uh, sand harvester from the last from the last uh, series. So, it'll go along, grab a piece of uh, grab a, a piece of 
tree uh, come back and then we're going to rig this up so that this happens automatically when it returns but let's pop this down um, so that double extends and shoves the tree off out of the way but not quite far enough we also have to then activate this set of pistons which pulls it back um, out of the way of the slime blocks I mean and this set of pistons which shoves the whole chunk along like so and then we have to send this back out for another tree. There we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, I did not notice that. It doesn't make a difference, but I did not notice it. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, so this tree is a little bit more complicated. It's got a chunk there and a chunk there. So we also we are also going to need to shove these out. Um, yeah at the beginning of this whole concept. Um, I actually haven't rigged that up. I need a, need a button here. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a button. What a shame. Actually, I can make one. Cool. So yeah, we are going to uh, activate that thing as well. Yep, shove that over. And we also want to shove this other one over. I don't think I have a button for that either. Yeah, okay. Shove that over. And then we do this one, activate that one. And we've got the whole line back over there. Um, we do another tuggy tuggy and a, a shovey shovey. And we've got that shoved over as well. So then we need to think of what, what, what we need to do with this. Um, probably I'm just going to build it up into a big chunk and then um, I'll chop the chunk down. Otherwise, I might actually blow it up with TNT. That would, that would be fun. <laughs> but in any case, then we, we send the machine out flying for another tree, and uh, it'll come back and we'll do the same thing. Okay, I, th I think this is going to work. I've done a, a couple tests, but they, they weren't complete tests yet. So this is the first complete one. You can see a little bit off the side there has already been placed. Um, okay, so if I hit this button, we should see the thing go off, grab some stuff, come back, and then the stuff should get removed. Um, and the thing should be sent out again, I think. Maybe. <laughs> uh, not quite, not quite. Okay, I've made a couple changes, so it's time for the next test. Um, I think the reason it was stopping before was that I, uh, I had placed a block on top of this. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I had placed a block on top of, on top of this, um, and it turns out that my design actually requires that this piston move around a little, so I was blocking the movement of that. Um, at the time, it looked like uh, it would have been a, a fine thing to do. So let's let's test this out again. Excellent. Oh, did that work? What are you doing here? My my problem was that this thing was activating too early because I had to I had to add a little bit of delay um, when I made made the modifications and now this thing is trying to trying to make its grab before there is actually anything to grab so it's not moving naturally um, okay so let's let's get that back down okay and I just need to add another another repeater here. Uh, yeah, one tick. I think I only added one tick there, so that should be fine. Okay. And let's test it again. Good. And it's bouncing back. Yeah. <laughs> that worked swimmingly. Okay. Now, we have a new problem, apparently. This thing up here is not moving. I don't know exactly why that would be, because... It was working, and I don't think I changed anything in that respect. So I think I'll have to work on that off camera. It looks like that thing up there was just triggering too early, so the block wasn't there yet. Um, the, the machine hadn't backed up far enough so, uh, for it to reach. So I've added a repeater. It's on two ticks. Hopefully that's enough. Um, let's take a look and see. Oh, there isn't a block there. Okay, that, that doesn't help. Uh, all right. On the bright side, we know it works when there's nothing on the top. Although, I guess we already did. It doesn't change much, if I'm being honest. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 
Okay, now why is this one not working? That seems a little odd to me because I, I was fairly certain that one worked too. <sighs> okay, um, let me see. So if I, if I break this so that I'm not activating anything I don't want to, um, and then pop a button down. Yep, that still works. And it's in place now. So it's not a problem with the timing within the actual unit, that, that chunk there. Um, it, apparently it too is just activating a little bit too early to grab the, the block. So I guess I'll add a third tick. Let's see if that works. And comes back. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay. So that now works. Um, if we want to send it back then, um, what we should do is send a little a little pulse back from, from here into this block here. So now hopefully when it comes back it should be sent off again, but this might go terribly wrong. <laughs> Stop it! Okay. What, what happened here? Bad things, bad things happened. Okay, I don't think that test was too disastrous. Let's let's try it again. Um, I haven't tested it since though. So we've got we've got an extra repeater here, and I think that will that will be an okay to okay place to put it. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, let's let's see. <laughs> I'm worried after that last one. Okay. No! Bad! Bad machine! <sighs> okay, I think it might actually work this time. So, I, f I figured out that I had uh, switched the pulse a little so that um, it re-triggered the ejection of this, of this craft before, or it, yeah, it sent this thing up. Oops. <laughs> it sent this thing off without activating this piston, and this, pi this piston is very important because it moves the, the block out of the way for this observer so that this does not trigger the entire shove all the things me uh, mechanism. And the shove all the things mechanism, of course, should not trigger when there is this, when the, uh, when the fetching craft is right in its way. So let's, uh, let's see that this works. Or, yeah, you know, let's hope, hope it works. Okay. Yeah, not quite. Aha! <laughs> it's been a little while, but I've finally gotten it working. Let's pop this down. Goes over, grabs its blocks. And blocks come off. Goes out again. <laughs> fetches the next tree. Ah, that's great, that's great. <laughs> oh, that that took a lot longer than I was expecting. I just to get the uh, the restart me mechanism because it it turns out it's it's rather it was rather tricky because I had a I had that thing because if it if if this line stays on for for too long then uh, it, it doesn't trigger when the thing comes back. Um, but if it if it's too short, then the thing triggers twice, and that's what was happening. It was it was triggering twice, and halfway after that thing had started, the mechanism here shoved all its blocks in, into random places. Well, not random, but into unhelpful places. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got all the wood now, so let's turn this off, um, and it'll when it comes back, it'll stop, and that will be quite a relief because it's very loud. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is this is really cool now. What we uh, what we have to do at this point is uh, I'm going to set up a, a, a bunch of pistons here, um, and we will shove the line of wood coming from there. It'll it'll head across this repeater across the top of it, uh, end up here, and we can then use these to shove it over here and form a big block of wood in this section right here. And then we can make a an interface room in this area, with the the wood ending up right next to it, and the control switch right next to uh, right next to it as well. So 
everything's localized. Very nice. Um, okay, well, I, I I suppose I will get get on that. This part is not going to be nearly so difficult because uh, we've just got to push this wall of wood into different directions, and that's that's pretty simple just by timing the pistons right. I've done a little bit of piston pushing. Uh, ignore this part. That's uh, that's for placing the pistons that I don't have to put on that wall. So I need to make more pistons. However, the first thing I want to do is try and uh, see if this other stuff works. So I think it should. Let's uh, send the thingy off for a single block of cobblestone. Uh, <laughs> uh, in retrospect, that's the obvious concept. Okay, so that works. Now, currently, I need to place more cobblestone. <laughs> I should also place another obsidian block there so that they don't all just shove off. <laughs> okay. So that should work, and we can see it see it in action now. So, go off, get another cobble, and I think we can see everything from here. So, that line moved, that line moved, and that line, I don't think this even triggered. That's worrying. I might have placed the thing... Oh yeah, apparently I placed the thing one block too far, the repeater, I mean. Okay, uh, let, me, let me just fix that off camera. Good, so I think I've fixed that not triggering problem. So, it's going off... Oh, that's not where I want that. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> Alright, so that should have filled up one of the empty spaces there. Um, I think this one's going to push it... Yep, okay, pushed it into sight there. And then this next one, we ought to see it popping up there. So let's let's keep an eye out for that. Excellent. And it was moved over into the giant wall, too. So that means that this line over here should just start filling up the entire... Uh, yeah, the entire wall of, of pistons here. Um, six tall, which means we'll have a... Uh, 6 by 12 by 13 area, which is going to be... Take a look at this. This, this is really cool. <laughs> multiply. Multiply. <laughs> 936 blocks, which is how many stacks? It is 14.6 stacks. About. Not all the trees are going to be 6 blocks tall. However, we, sh we should expect maybe 14 at least stacks of... Uh, of wood every time we we make a full harvest of the square that's what that uh, that's what that number is <laughs> this thing can stop so yeah that's that's cool and uh, that that little multiplying thing is is part of a uh, part of a uh, um, a sort of script in auto hotkey that I've been putting together it's gotten to be pretty nifty if I do say so myself <laughs> uh, it also it is also the thing that allows me to type uh, Russian characters because I'm, I'm learning Russian, so I need to be able to type them. I didn't like the Windows keyboard because it wasn't related to, to my English keyboard at all, which makes sense, except I kind of want it to be <laughs> because I don't have a Russian keyboard, so wouldn't really uh, do much for me if, um, if I don't know where the keys are. This one's sort of phonetic. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, try and scrape up some more pistons then. Um, for the giant wall of them, and I will be back in just a moment then. Aha, uh, another set of first tests. <laughs> yeah, this time we've got the wall working. I managed to scrape the pistons up. Um, I'm... Oh, oh no! I was really hoping that that repeater there would uh, stay on, w would not pop up, because uh, after all, it's... Uh... Oh. After all, it's, it's not... It's not... It's still got a block to sit on, it's just a different block. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to have to come up with some way of powering that then. Probably not too difficult. Uh, yeah, this comes to mind. Uh, and this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, does, does it still have enough signal strength? It does, excellent. Cool. <laughs> so then... I think that's our uh, that's our tree farm done, really. Yeah, it worries me that none of the trees are growing. I have to admit, <laughs> that is a, a slight source of anxiety. Aha! We now have a rather nice looking line of trees there, 
ripe for the pickings, and I was also interested to see how far our, our lake project would have gotten in that time. I was I was sort of AFK for maybe three hours, maybe four or something. So nothing too drastic. <laughs> this this water level is rising pretty slowly, but it's definitely rising, so it'll it'll get there eventually. However, I think it's time to test this out. Let's uh let's hit the switch. I uh made a small change to the machine and then had to revert it because I realized I was being silly, so hopefully I didn't ruin anything. That's looking pretty good though. Yep, got the top block. That's the thing I was worried about, and now I'm falling. So I made a couple changes as well. While we uh while we're just looking at that. I made a couple changes. I added some water streams to collect all the saplings. Um so the, there's another one of these on the other side, and it'll push the uh, push the things over and the, the saplings and the sticks that is from the from the tree leaves into the center, and they'll head into the uh, into this water stream here, and end up in this chest. You can see a couple things in there. I I tossed the wood in as a test, but these other ones fell in um, as I was punching them to get them to fall in. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, this this is going rather well. Um, I had to raise the top bit there a little bit. Um, I think I put it, put it two blocks higher. I think that means I might end up with trees too tall for my for my machine to grab. But I I haven't seen one yet, and a lot of them have grown. So maybe I'm wrong there. Um, I I hope I'm wrong. In any case, they weren't growing before, and now they seem to be growing quite quite quickly, quite consistently. Um, so that's an excellent change. Uh oh. <laughs> I do not know why that is there. Maybe it was from when I was making an update and maybe I tweaked something and forgot to take away my scaffolding. That seems likely, but yeah, hopefully that's hopefully that's not pulling bits and pieces off my redstone. I would not be happy about that. Hmm, so it seems these pistons here aren't activating anymore. That seems odd to me, because I know they were not not long ago. Ah, uh, you know, that's that's probably what that block was. Yeah, yeah, it must have been. Got that working again, so... Yeah, <laughs> I think the entire machine is working now. Indeed, it does work. Here it comes with the last block. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's it's such a... such a... an inefficient, but really cool uh, contraption. I like it. <laughs> that's my favorite kind of contraption. Alright, let's, let's see the last block integrated into the chain. Very nice, very nice. Shovey shovey. And... Squirt. <laughs> very nice. So yeah, I'm going to uh, figure out the kinks in this thing, and I will see you in the next episode. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Take care, and bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>